Okie dokie. So, according to the information on the Xbox, I have one day left tomorrow to play this game, and then my gold subscription membership trial period of one month will be expired. So I figured I get tooled up, ignore doing the workshop thing and all that sort of crap, even though they're still popping up to go and take them. Ignore every bugger else and actually try and launch at least one nuke. It's irritating as hell because I don't like time limits on games. I like casual play, intense, yes, but I like being able to actually relax and not have to rush because you are countdown clock. So I'm here at site Bravo with the 100 in the background, which is not good background, so I've got to turn it off. I need actual background that I can, you know, not have to stare at. So I'm going in. Access I'm not going to bother with power armor. Facility lockdown I know it'd be progress. probably easier if I did. The lockdown has However, ended. my Chinese stealth armor has pretty much the same radiation resistance as a hazmat suit. Access That's fuck's sake. denied. Facility lockdown in progress. Please wait until the lockdown has ended. Which means what exactly? See, they don't actually explain the shit to you. You get so conditioned with these other games that are... <clears throat> excuse me. They basically hand walk you through every fucking thing. And then you get something like this where there is no help whatsoever. I don't know if they just expect you to blatantly go on YouTube and look for assistance that way, or what the fucking intention is. Either way, it's shit. I mean, it's now quarter past one in the afternoon on a Saturday, 17th of April, 2021. And I've been up for hours and I just couldn't grasp the game on rather than getting up. But on, you only got a short time left. It was a case of, and nah, I can't be asked. I'm going to do the washing up. Um. Well, so much of that idea. And all I can really think now to do is go back to the. Because I've picked up so many of these launch code key things from the walking Chinese commander zombies which have launch codes for America which is fucked up although quite realistic but um yeah even re actually reading through the instructions they give you it still makes no fucking sense and my uploads are currently part 50 <laughs> so I probably still got another Two, I'm probably like two weeks behind with uploads because of how long it takes to actually upload a freaking video to YouTube. So, um, yeah. I'm not going to bother claiming any workshops because it's just a pain in the ass, basically. Although I did, I have found a couple that are actually interesting. Interesting in the location because the location did dictates what type of enemies on occasion. This one, nuclear waste site, is quite nice because you get scorched piece. Not one, not two, but three of the fuckers. Whereas munitions depot up here you only get one. And one of them down there it's a legendary. But that was once. All the other times all you got was your usual couple of mutants. So um Yeah at first you think you're going to get certain types of creatures because of the the area and then it turns out that no they just do the same shit no matter where you are so end result the game it's shit it has a lot of potential but it's basically shit in every way it is subpar to fallout 4 fallout 3 skyrim and oblivion it is well worse in every single way than all of those games. The only thing, and that also includes graphics, the, for me the, the one thing I look at, not stare at them, but one thing I do notice is 
when you look at the rocks, that tells you that the pixelation quality and it is absolutely shit in this game. I mean, like diabolically shit. So, um, yeah, uh, not exactly encouraging me to pay a monthly fee to play the game, which is what I would have to do to play it after tomorrow. I think the 19th is the date of the month trial expired. I honestly wasn't even going to bother. I mean, it's nice weather, but I'm not a sun person. I don't like going out in the sunshine, especially on the bike. There's too many fucking people on the road if you do that. But it was something just go for a spin just for the way. Um, yeah, there are so many things they could fix and the game would be a lot better. For example, having an internal map. Having the ability to pause the fucking game. I understand. I accept. I realise that if you're working on a PvP, that is a real people environment, such as combat situation, or if you're doing a shared event, yes, I fully accept that you should not be able to pause the game. Unless you want to quit completely and quit out of it. However, if you're in a situation where there's no other real people, it's just MVPs, then let me pause the fucking game so I can go for a piss. Let me pause the game so I can put the cat on. I am English, I need my cups of tea. Which you cannot do in this game. The only thing that comes anywhere near to being even remotely paused like is it's like I'm just guessing randomly where the fuck I'm going. Because the only way you can actually have a look is this, which is fucking useless. And I love the way they all ice get around completely fucking useless AI. Oh look, something I must get. I have to, I have to, I can't give a shit. It's like I know there's a thing in the menu from what I've gleaned that if you look at some of the terminals you get. White Spring, automated you know, recording. Five. I can't be honest. Three point one. It is absolutely tedious. So you made it all the way from the capital. So I'm assuming that I'm gonna have to go to the military wing to get a location for one of those flying fucking what you call it robot things so I can get shoot it down get a key thing and hopefully that'll give me a location but I don't fucking know I'm going to stick this site alpha because I cannot be bothered going to a new one So I'm assuming I've now got to go and get that code piece, which would give me a, then a time limit to go and get um, access to the bunker. Protect and serve. So now I've got to try and find a fucking exit. See so if you have a map, be a piece of this. Admission, admissions. Yeah, avoid taking the lift because it can end up just turning you in circles. Yeah, these objective markers are a fucking pain in the ass. They only work when they want to. See, it's pointing down there, which is not the exit. That's going to be a different exit to a different place, which would take even longer to get out of. It's, I'm assuming it's pointing to um, an exit that would take you into the golf club. Which means once you get in the golf club, you then got to go through the golf club in order to exit. Which takes you longer than, you know, go to the front door. So it doesn't actually give you the quickest route to your objective. 
Yeah. I'm not happy with it. The graphics are not as good as the other games. The gameplay is not as good. The AI is a fucking joke. I know some of the older games, the AI is fairly basic. They basically just keep running towards you to try and kill you, which is what you want. Whereas this, they just kind of hover and they get stuck on a twig and they will actually move towards you as you shoot them in the head. So, um, yeah. I would love to give a good review about this game because I love these Bacida games, but you can really tell they got so far making it and then all of a sudden we're selling the company. We're going to do this just to show that people want to play it and, it's, and so the company's worth more money when we sell it to Microsoft. That was all they were doing it for. That is really obvious. They got so far, did it for show, to show they could make money out of it, make ongoing money out of it, and then just say, basically, fuck it, we don't give a shit. Did it kill time? Has it killed time? Yes. Will I ever play it again? Unfucking likely. The only way that I'm actually going to play this game again is if somebody else. Oh, for fuck's sake. If somebody else were to actually pay for a monthly subscription, because I'm sure it's fuck not going to. Where the hell am I going there? Is that the cheapest way to get there? Free travel to Tottenham. If you set up workshops, the, the best thing about the workshops for actually claiming them, yes, you can get resources, which is essential because you can't buy the fucking stuff. You can't buy it a lot of the time what you actually need. You got to go and harvest it yourself. But the biggest benefit is that it gives you a free travel point after you've claimed it. So it's handy to have them scattered about the place. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to actually launch one nuke and that'll be it. I'll probably play it until my thing expires, which is, I think it's either going to be tomorrow or the day after. Because it says the 19th. But a lot of the stuff that I was hoping to get hold of, like how the Hellfire missile launcher, I had that once. Thought well, I don't have any missiles, so I didn't bother, and that was a month ago. And that was it, you never see it again. And you get the plans for it, but you don't have the perk card to craft it. So it's a worthless thing, unless. You can actually use the stuff online. unless you actually play the game the for months or years on it. What the fuck? Now, see, because of the way it actually worked, I've got no idea what he said. And this happens with nearly every audio commentary. So what am I supposed to... What is the objective now? Repair the tower. Yeah, that happens with pretty much every single audio tape, or whatever you want to call them. They're all the same. Garbled, unintelligible, fucking useless. And just need to being pissed off, because you can't stand it the same. So, what am I supposed to do with this? Basically, trapped. Yeah, this is the problem with the glitch I've mentioned before. Is that because it's an online game and all the, they're constantly uploading your information? It's not about the data raping thing. That basically it means that if you get too many things happen at once, the game crashes and freezes, and you can't do a fucking thing. I was basically wiggling like fuck to try and move. And it wouldn't let me. And you can't say I was being immersive because you're being attacked. Bollocks! 
it would not let me move in any direction whatsoever. And I've no fucking idea what that objective was that came up as to why there was an objective. What was the robot a different mission that I'm actually on? Has it got anything to do with me getting the bloody key card? Yeah, fucking useless. And what you can do if you've got a stealth unit thing is squat down and you can just do a fast travel. But you, you get a countdown because there's bad guys near you. Which is annoying. Yeah, I, I would love to be positive about this fucking game, but I can't. It's just irritating as fuck. Yeah, it'll be like a blowjob, a bath, an aqua free lager. After a little while, you forget how, how fucking annoying it is. But the only aspect of it that's in any way of interest is the fact that other people, real people, actual humans, are on screen. But all that does is make you apprehensive. Because someone comes to do your event, and you don't know if they're going to rob you, fuck you, or just try and nick it. Or half the time, especially the higher level characters, it's only the higher level ones, and you can tell how they got to be higher level. They'll go to an event, and they'll hide. They won't bother taking part in the event. They'll just fucking hide. Which is... If, you, if you're trying, if your objective is to get to the... Hang on, that's like Bravo. Where the fuck's that Alpha? Alright, so I fucked that up. Because the idea was for me to get the site alpha, because I've done site alpha. So I kind of know, you know, where it is. So it's not going to show me where the fuck I am. As I was saying. If I get a gun and a nice suit of power armor, <laughs> you can sign me right up. So what did I actually get? Was it Site Alpha? I don't know because when I picked it up, I was being shot. And there was no one being shot, there was some fuckwit talking. So, yeah. The, the game is not exactly well thought out, well planned, or in any way fucking any good. See, it says Camp Alpha, not Site Alpha. I do know I've seen, mind you, I've seen quite a few fucking alphas. Slight alpha, right. There's fast travel point. Because my money has actually gone right the fuck down. Because I got so pissed off being over encumbered that I ended up buying an absolute fuck ton. Isn't that just where I was? An absolute fuck ton of, um, crap from these shops just so I could sell my stuff to get rid of it. Okay, I think I got the alpha and the key card to get in there. Unless he's now going to say to me that I've got to go and shoot down the fucking drone. Which is just irritating. Really, really irritating. And that looked like a crash. Access denied. Facility lockdown in progress. Please wait until the lockdown has ended. So I got the set alpha. Didn't work. So what the fuck am I supposed to do now? It's just the one got being irritated. They don't explain what to do. Then when you do follow the instructions, it doesn't fucking work. So all I can really think to do now is to go back there again. Which costs more money. 
and more money and more money. Normally money is not an issue, but I spent so much time. I spent about 50000 just buying loads of absolute shit just so I could sell absolute shit. Okay, I need background. Alex Belford, fucking prick. I mean, he is a complete fucking nonce. Alex Belfield, the voice of reason. He's, he's, he's gotten to the point now where he believes he's untouchable because he's got 282,000 subscribers. And he really does believe he is completely untouchable. He can do and say whatever he wants. And he's going to get seriously fucked in a big way because he's doing more and more dodgy shit, which he's obviously been doing all his life. But he's now making it obvious, like he wants someone to come and fuck him over for it. Like, um, he was in a pub, and he's recording these two girls. One of them obviously really pissed up. And he's doing, like, secret recording sort of thing. So he's in the core of the screen, but the rest of his camera is showing these girls getting drunk. They come over, complaining like mad. I actually posted this on my social media thing. Um, profile on YouTube and yet they complain about him recording them does he stop maybe what did he do with the recording he posted it on fucking YouTube it that's and, and he's there he obviously must have read my comment or the fact I made a video of him doing this because he launched a video the following day or a couple of days later saying about perverts and how he's definitely not a pervert, he's never been done for anything perverted. And I'm basically there saying, okay, let's try the lift for a change. Like, yeah, you have, and you've proven it by posting videos of you recording girls without the permission. And after they complained about it by trying to cover your camera up, you then post it on the internet. I mean, that is the very definition of being a pervert. I mean, you're pervert on girls without the permission, using a camera. Yeah, some people just need to be fisted. Oh, I'm sorry, but you know, lube or without lube, they just need to be fisted. Right, let's try this shit again. Nuclear key card escort. See, I'm sure it's that alpha that I got. Right, so hide, seek, and destroy. I'm going to assume that that is going to be the entry thing. But where the fuck is it? Right, in the worst possible location, because that's where all the fucking evil bastard robots are. Sorry robots, but you know, evil bastard robots. Most of them I don't mind, but when you get swarmed by the dominatrix ones, there is no other way to describe them. Metal bodies and bondage gear. I'm going to give you an example, I mean, about this alternate exit. You just, I think there's two or three that go to the resort and they're a pain in the ass because it just means more and more walking through an area you don't really want to walk through. Okay, back round, Alex Bellend. Can't be us reading that. Can't be, can't be us reading that. Can't be us reading that. That's an interesting thing. Whoopie go. Well, okay, I don't know if it's going to be interesting, but the person in the title, Whoopi Goldberg. I actually quite like Whoopi Goldberg. I think she's interesting. She's also one of these people that tends not to give a fuck. Hello Chunky! In, in, in what way is Hello Chunky a nice greeting? You're, you're basically fat shaming everybody. 
Zoom Talk Radio put together on a bad day. Uh, we would still be bigger, uh, than they are. Yeah, he, he, he really, really likes to his teeth about how popular he is. He, he reckons that because he gets 2,000 people click like on his video, which is about average, that, that means millions and millions of people are watching it. He's got this thing in his brain that him being on YouTube equates to the family television, that there's an entire family sitting around watching someone's mobile phone on YouTube. Do be fucking serious. The only time you might get that is perhaps, just perhaps, in prison, with somebody smuggled a phone in. But other, other than that, you're the not going to get a family smuggling around YouTube. The telly? Yeah. YouTube? No. That's an individual fucking voyeuristic thing. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's extremely delusional. He doesn't seem to click onto the fact that we can, with two clicks, you can see his statistics on how many people actually view his channel and the most number of likes. And he reckons he gets like millions per day, per video, per click. He's never even had a million hits on an entire day. Yes, yeah, so he irritates the fuck out of me. He's a creepy bastard. About one thing every four weeks, I will actually agree with. The rest of it is just irritates shit at me. But the title on this is, he, he uses the emoji things, and it's obvious he's got the mentality of a 60-year-old, and I've no idea what he is, but that's the mentality that he's got. And, um, I'm going to go from this channel to Choo Choo Station is the safest place. Okay, the title is, Whoopi and Flag Furious at BBC, and it's all these little tags and symbols like a child discovering a new toy. I can do pictures as well as words. Whoopi Goldberg, I'm assuming, and Idris Elba isn't black enough. This is basically They Are Milky Ways, which is black on the outside, white on the inside. And nothing wrong with that. That's called being civilized. Because if you're black and black and black and black and black all the way through, then that basically means, according to the media, You have to be a 1970s black pimp with 12 year old white sluts. That, that is how the media portrays black people. And if you don't act in that way, then you're not classed as black. The class is, I want to be white. Uh, what the fuck is wrong with that? It's like um, that song by. Oh, is that Junkie? What was his name? Fuck yeah. Black dreadlocks, smoke lots of weed. Like right, songs about murdering police officers because it because they caught them doing drugs. What the fuck was his name? Ah, oh, that's me chewing anything. It's not letting me lock on. Um, Morrison, Morrison. So I'm not allowed to use bats apparently. Definitely other people shooting at it or robots shooting at it. I mean, he did songs like Three Little Birds. And that uh, was it. Hey, every little nigga, it's gonna be alright. And that is basically the way it is. Every black person, as much as they bitch about black culture, BLM, that sort of crap, they don't want to be black. They want to have white culture, white money, white resources, white health care. I mean, let's face it, if you, if you want traditional black healthcare, then that's going to mean, you know, mud hut sort of thing. Because that is the way that black people still exist and still live and still have their lives in Africa. They still cut the vaginas out of baby corners. I don't 
don't know if that one's shooting at me or not. What's going on? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, you see what I mean by that? Glitchy as fuck. And the AI is complete shit. Absolute shit. Yeah, you, you go and get shot by some bugger. I mean, it's a case of what I'm supposed to do, just keep fucking wandering after this. Oh, that's so Because you can't use that for some reason. And the game keeps trying to crash. So because there's so many things happening in the background, the game keeps trying to crash. Really, really fucking annoying. I mean, if we weren't to be on the move constantly, I'd use a bit of weapon. Because I've actually got a bloody missile launcher with me. I wish I had gun, but if it's not going to settle down, there's no point. And all I can really think about doing to actually give me any kind of advantage is to get up on the roof. Which would mean having to shoot down mutants and robots and all the other fucking crap. Yeah, because it's so glitchy and jerky, you can't actually do a prediction on where it's going to travel, on where it's going. Because if you're at ground level, from what I can, I've only played, I've only gone through here a couple of times, from what I can gather, if you're at ground level, you've got robots. If you go above ground level, go up here. If you go above ground level, I think it's mutants. Which is irritating as fuck. Okay, let's see what this twat's got to say. Voice is irritating. I can't listen to that shit. Other aspects is game, which is really fucking dodgy. So I'm not going to shoot the mutants because they seem to be shooting down that fucking drone that I'm trying to get. What am I stuck on? Oh, a twig. Yeah, another thing that's irritating about this game is that it is really going toward the paedophile side of things. I mean, you get these images like this where you get like you know. And this, and it's everywhere. Really, really creepy shit. I mean, if you, the way that 
advertising works. I used to go to advertising quite a bit. And they, they do things. You see one thing, but it makes you think about something else. For example, you have a child looking happy and cheeky, something to eat, something phallic shaped. Oh, look, she's trying to grab something that's also phallic shaped. Who's actually shooting at me? Where did you come from? <laughs> yeah, the Vax is completely fucking useless in this. Really, really fucking useless. So what happened to the other one? I did it fall for the edge. I've yet to actually find a use for the mods. The ones you pick up. Just scrap them or sell them, but they're actually fucking useless. It's like a lot of games, you find a couple of weapons that you like and you just don't bother changing them. So I'm assuming that's a robot that they're shooting at me. Oh, another one. Okay. So what I need to do is try and get within the range is actually flying around. Hopefully. Theoretically. Oh yeah, I did have another audio recorded, but as with most technology, my phone forced me to restart it. See, technology does this. If you don't have it set to upload your information, they will actually force you to restart it so they can do the, they can upload your information that way. And they do this and they give you punishments, which is fucking irritating. But they actually do punish you. Like, if you don't have... If I don't have my phone set to constantly up, upload to... It's Android, so it's um, Google or whatever the fuck it is, or whatever versions they have. If that's turned off, I think with Windows they call it cloud or something rather. If it's turned off, what they will do is they will erase all the contents of your SD card. It's their way to punish you for not having automatic upload, whatever you want to call it, selected. It's petty, but this is how they make the money. The cap he has got in place. All I'm trying to do right now is get to the roof, where I should hopefully have a better chance of being attacked. Oh. Trying to shoot down that bloody thing. Oh, 